Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very excited about today's episode because it's something we've wanted to do for a very long time. As you know, a lot of us take fashion inspiration from those on TV, movies. So what we've done today is pick four characters. Some you may know, some may be quite obscure, but what we're going to start with is 007 himself, James Bond. If you Google James Bond suits, a whopping 289 billion answers come up and it's not hard to see why always one of the most impeccably dressed characters. So this look is actually inspired from the most recent film. Even if you've not seen it, it appears in the trailer. What we have is a very smart and sleek grey suit. The devil is in the details with Bond. You've always just got small accessories like a pocket hanky or a tie clip. Now, our head of Taylor and Declan, who also features in these videos, was extremely annoyed at the trailer because the point of a tie clip is to hold your tie in place in the shirt. Bond's tie is waving around, showing even the master spy himself doesn't always know the right way to dress. And if you just wanted to wear a suit for a Saturday night, this is perfect. Not too over the top, subtle, smart, classic Bond and really nice. Essan, I'm going to move you on to our next suit, which you can already see is slightly more, more detailed. It's got more checks and we'll talk about who it is in connection with in the next sure. scene. Look at that, some nice, subtle, brown, blue checks. So, Boardwalk Empire fell, in, fell under the radar. I think, I'm not going to go into my sadness of it. I loved the show, but it was like the year Game of Thrones came out. I think another big show came out. So, it's based basically during Prohibition. So the 1920s, 1930s, and there's lots of great characters, but for today's episode, I've dedicated it to the character called Chalky White. Now, Chalky was played by Michael K. Williams, who was a fantastic actor, and unfortunately passed away within the last month. Chalky basically was the leader of the African-American community in this TV show in Atlantic City, and because of that, he basically was quite a high flyer with all the big names, political, gangster, that sort of thing. So Chalky dressed quite bold for a man at the time, and people dressed bold back then in huge checks. Now, one of Chalky's main suits was a really nice brown, sort of earthy color, and that was a lot of the tones he followed as well at the time. So this is really just like a shout out to Michael K. Wings and the fantastic character he played on Boardwalk Empire. Right, on to outfit number three. Yeah, sure. Thank you. And here we have a much cleaner, more, more modern look. You may have seen Crazy Stupid Love with Ryan Gosling. Gosling dressed fantastically in the film. You can see the much more modern fit of the suit as well. The slightly thinner lapels, the more modern shape that tailors to the body, and also the devil was in the details with this outfit. It's a much cleaner look with the white shirt and the straight color, but he had a nice detailed pocket square there because when you are wearing that more plain color, it does give you a lot more flexibility with accessories and that's when you can get as creative as possible. One of my favorite looks because I prefer things a little bit more basic and clean cut myself, despite wearing a check suit, as you can see. So Esan, what do you think of this look? I actually really like it because I, can wear, I think I can wear it in both ways, casual and formal, and it's very comfy and it looks really sharp. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Perfect, right. And on to the next one. I'm excited for this one as well. Let's move over onto it. Sure. And who'd have thought the 1960s could look so cool? So this look is actually modeled after none other than Don Draper himself from Mad Men. So when Mad Men came out, it was basically, it was during the advertising of the 1950s, 1960s, and it was to do with the men of Madison Avenue in New York. So what that show really brought back was the nicely, finely tailored suits. Now, as we've already given you three suit looks, I wanted to do something a little bit different here and show you Don's more casual range. So when Don goes away to a party for a weekend over in LA, what he wears is a nice bold check blazer with more muted colors so that it isn't too over empowering. Now, Don was an extremely confident man, comfortable in his own skin and comfortable what he wore. You can see it's quite smart and when it comes to layers, you want the full outfit to work even with something taken off. So Essan, can you take that blazer off? Yeah, sure. And you see, it just gives you that perfect blend between having a fully casual outfit or getting ready for smarter occasions. This is the look that'll cover everything for you. 
Esan, what do you think of the style? Uh, to, to be honest, this is a kind of uh, outfit that I wear myself when I go for for to to go for a meal or a night out. Something this this is very casual and sporty. I can wear it with the denim. I can take it off whenever I want, and it feels very comfy and good. To be honest, I really like it. Nice, a smart casual guy. Our favorite kind of customer. The easiest. So that's four outfits from TV and movies. If you want to leave a comment below, let us know who else you'd like us to see inspiration from. But other than that, thank you as always for watching and we'll see you next time.